Oh my god. Yuck. <laughs> you can't even see the water. You've seen this view many, many times, right? There's supposed to be water out there. <laughs> well, there's water. It's coming out of the sky, but you can't see the ocean or the island or the mountains or the sky or anything. It's so gray and gross. That's Vancouver for you, right? Ugh, yuck. Anyway, um, so hey, welcome back. Um, I had a cool idea. I thought, okay, well, so the last time we saw each other on video, the last four times we saw each other on video, was it four times? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went through my kitchen and uh, basically went through all my cupboards and my countertops and my fridge and my freezer and I showed you guys everything that I keep, keep for food. So I thought, uh-huh, why don't I show you guys what I keep for workout equipment, considering this is, you know, the whole fitness at home blog. So uh, let's take a look at the stuff that I keep for fitness equipment um, and the stuff that I use to uh, get a rock and work out here at home. Um, privacy my own home in this little tiny, little itty bitty living room that I've got. See how small it is? Like I'm holding this thing right up against my face to make room. Here, I'll move around. You can see everything I own. <laughs> there, that's as big as my place is. A smaller one, eh? Um, I keep a blanket on my couch because uh, the sun blows. When the sun is shining, the sun blows in and, and fades out my, my couch. So I keep a blanket on the couch and silly me, I bought a black blanket and now it's fading out the blanket. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so anyway, um, so let's look at my workout equipment. We'll just look at sort of one piece at a time very quickly. Uh, I'll show you everything that I've got. And I do, I work out in this little tiny space. You've, you've just seen it. It's like um, five feet by six feet, probably. It's all I need. Uh, and my pull-up bar, which we'll get to at some stage. Okay, so anyway, these are my dumbbells. Um, these work great uh, in a home. Like, I've got them stacked pretty small. You can also use... A, uh, a set of adjustable dumbbells if you like, but I like doing supersets, so if uh, I have to keep changing the weight from one exercise to the next, it gets to be a pain in the butt, so I like to have just regular dumbbells so I can just grab the set I need and then put it down and grab the other set I need without having to fuss with settings. So um, I've got them all stacked up here against my records. Yes, I know I'm very old school. I still have vinyl. Um, but I've got, these are threes. I almost never use these anymore, but once in a blue moon I might use them for a, um, some kind of uh, uh, sit up move or whatever. These are fives. Again, I hardly ever use those. These are, what are these? Tens. Tens, twelves, fifteens, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-fives. So that's as high as I go. And those are pretty much all I really need to get a really smoking workout for my, for my strength level anyway. Um, uh, if you're a guy, you might want to go quite a bit heavier than that, especially for leg work. Uh, I do wish I had some heavier ones when I do leg work, uh, especially when I'm doing sumo squats and stuff. If I do find myself at a gym, I usually use a 100-pound dumbbell to do sumo squats. Um, but, you know, I mean, I can put a dumbbell on each leg, too, and get the same same effect. Um, so I'm still lifting um, 35 times 2, which is 70, right? So, okay, I also use kettlebells once in a blue moon for fun. Um... They're a fun thing to do, do some one-arm swings or some one-arm snatches. So I've got a matching set because I like, sometimes I like to do, uh, work both arms at the same time. You don't need a matching set. Sometimes you can get a really great workout with just one kettlebell um, or a mismatched set, one lighter for your upper body and one lower for, your, for working your lower body. Um, I've got a matching set, but I think I would like to get um, one slightly heavier one for lower body work. Uh, this is my little box of snakes, I call it. Um, there, I've got some inspirational pictures on the inside. But this is my box of snakes. Um, this is my jump rope, which I've discovered is no good for the outdoors. Um, I took it with me to one of my field workouts one day, and it was windy, and this plastic rope was just, it was useless to me. I'm going to buy a heavier jump rope at some stage soon. Um, but anyway, I did my jump rope, and yes, I can jump rope in this little tiny place. I've got just enough room. That's the ceiling up there. I've got just enough room. If I uh, stand just so, <laughs> like right about here, and then the front of the rope goes this way, and the back of the rope goes this way, and then I don't hit the ceiling, um, it's perfect. So I jump rope right here in the living room. Um, and then these are all my fitness bands that I use. Oh, see, that's why I call it my box of snakes, because it's always tangled. <laughs> Always tangled up like a bunch of snakes. Anyway, so I've got a bunch of different um, tensions of fitness band because different exercises require different strengths and all that stuff. And I've got a door anchor for every single one of my fitness bands. See this door anchor that's attached to it? Uh, the, the fitness band slides right out. Um, so if you want to like stand on your fitness band, then you can take this thing off. But I like this door anchor because you just put this inside the door and then close the door. And then the door is anchored. And you can put it up top of the door and do like... 
tricep pulls or you can put it in the, in, in the middle of the door and do like back rows or you can put it in the bottom of the door and do like bicep curls. It's really, this makes things really, really handy and I actually wound up buying a, um, a uh, door anchor, see they come in many different varieties, a door anchor for each band that I've got because it's just a pain in the butt taking the door anchor off and on again if you're doing supersets or whatever. So lots of different tensions of band. Um, and then one sort of round one that I like to use once in a while for some back exercises as well. I don't know if you guys can, if I'm thinking this through carefully enough, you guys can see stuff. Sorry, here I'll throw it on the floor, that's what it looks like. So two handles and you can pull it above your head uh, to each side and, and mimic lat pulls uh, like you would do on the cables at the gym or in front of you or whatever. It's, it's a handy little tool too. And oh, those are my wristbands because when I first started working with kettlebells I was bruising up my wrists when I was doing snatches so I got some wristbands but I don't really need those anymore I know what I'm doing now <clears throat> you shouldn't you shouldn't be um, you shouldn't be bruising up your wrists if you're doing kettlebells properly you should be um, you should be have the technique down where it lands gently on you instead of smashing into your wrist like it was when I first started okay so what else do I do here uh, this is my coffee table um, and this is what I use for my bench but you're just lying on that kind of uncomfortable. So what I do is I grab a couple of pillows from the couch and I just put them on the bench or on the uh, coffee table and like that there's my bench. Done. Um, if I need to uh, raise myself up even higher so I can have more room to get my elbows down um, I will put like a I'll fold a towel into um hold on a second I'll show you. Hold on hold on hold on. I'm gonna put the camera down pardon me. Just stay bear with me here. <laughs> I will put a towel down that is folded like this and that helps raise me up or one or two or three towels it's a really thick towel too see so I'll, I'll do one or two towels if I want to get up higher so that I can dip my elbows down further beside my body uh, another thing that I will use uh, for doing body dips is the corner of my pa patio I can put uh, my hand here, let's go out here even though it's freezing cold um, I can put I, I move this little table out of the way first of all and then I can put a hand here and then the other hand here and I can do body dips and yeah I'm pretty high up and it took me a couple of goes to kind of get over that but there's not much chance of falling because I'm on this side of the railing and I'm not jumping or anything I'm just raising my body up and down so I just raise my I just bend my knees and I can raise my body up and down in that corner and I can do body dips so that's a really handy place to do that um, or else I'll just put two chairs with backs, like see those chairs there, the backs on them? Uh, I'll just put two chairs like that back to back and put a heavy weight on, on the uh, seat of each chair and then I can use those for body dips as well. I just, just put my hand on, their ba on the back of the chair. You have to have a pretty st sturdy chair to do that though. Uh, okay, so what else we got? This is my little section of places that I store things like my, this is my Gym Boss uh, interval timer. This thing's awesome for doing interval training. Um, I've actually got two of them because I'm so big on them. <laughs> um, and this is the, the watch that I use when I'm running if I'm just timing myself for, uh, for uh, like distance. Um, I could use my Gym Boss timer as well, but I actually prefer to wear a watch if I'm not doing intervals. Um, rather than carrying something or having it strapped to my b uh, belt, I'd rather have a watch on. So when I'm just running for, di for running straight uh, distance or for speed and not doing intervals, then I, I wear my Ironman watch. Um, I've also got, so I've got a, step t a little step counter which I found interesting but I don't really use anymore because I went for a power walk one day and I did my step counting and I think I walked like 500,000 steps, it blew my mind how many steps it was. Uh, and then you know my running stuff, this is my earphones and this is my running belt that I use to strap my music to me and take carry my uh, iPhone and credit cards and money and keys and all that jazz with me as well. And uh, then my little, um, little water container, if I'm running in the summer I usually feel like I need water so I've got unfortunately a little plastic water bottle that goes in this thing and it just straps to me if I need to carry water with me and I need water in the middle of doing something. Uh, so what else? I don't want to make this video too crazy long. Um, what else? What else? What else is here that I wanted to show you? Try not to forget anything. Okay so let's go to the pull up bar. Um, this is in the uh, door of my bedroom and uh, pretty basic. The thing snaps out. I'm not going to snap it out right now but it does snap out so if you don't want it there 
uh, during the day. But I just leave it there. What the heck, you know? I mean, it's not my way. It's high enough up that I don't have to duck under it. And sometimes I like to hang wet clothing out <laughs> on it after I've done my laundry or something. So I just leave it there. But anyway, that's where I do my pull-ups. And uh, now we're going to go out into the stairwell of the building I live in, into a public area. So um, let's make sure I don't lock myself out, hey? Because <laughs> that would be fun. Shh, be quiet now. I don't want to disturb the neighbors. But this is where I go into the stairwell. And I live on the 16th floor of a 21-story building. So I just, this is what I do, where I go when I do stairwells. I go into this stairwell and I go down to the basement and I walk up to the 20th floor because the 21st floor is the uh, penthouse and it's locked. Um, and I can't get out with a key. So I just walk up to uh, the 20, 20th floor and I, I take the elevator down and then I go back down to the basement and I uh, climb back up again and I go back down to the basement. I do that eight times. It takes about 45 minutes and it just kills me. It's just like one of the hardest workouts I do. So um, it's a great, great thing to have if you live in a high-rise building. Definitely make use of your stairwell because uh, very, 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 very handy. So I think that's all the stuff. So as you can see, I don't really have a lot of stuff and I've made use of the stuff I have at home already, like the coffee table and a towel, um, the, door, the door frame for the pull-up bar, the, um, the balcony for body dips, the stairwell for cardio, and a uh, jump rope in the house for cardio as well, and bands and, and dumbbells, kettlebells for fun, for variety. You don't need them. They're fun, but you don't need them. So, um, you know, I mean, hmm, on a really skimpy budget, you can get a pretty smoking workout without ever leaving home. Anyway, so I th just thought I'd share that with you, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know why I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I guess maybe because I feel like I should have the music on or something, because uh, the other thing about working out at home is I can just crank whatever music I want. You know, and I don't have to wear earphones or anything if I'm at home. Like, you know, if you go to the gym and you don't like the music they're playing and you want to play your own music, you got to wear earphones and you've got a wire on the way and stuff. So, but uh, anyway, so that's it. Hope you guys are having a great week and hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Take care.